This diagram illustrates a simplified cross-section of the human heart, showing its four chambers, major blood vessels, and valves, and indicating the direction of blood flow. Here's a detailed explanation. Chambers of the heart. Right atrium. This is the upper right chamber. Deoxygenated blood from the body enters here via the superior vena cava from the upper body and inferior vena cava from the lower body. Right ventricle. This is the lower right chamber. It receives deoxygenated blood from the right atrium and pumps it to the lungs via the pulmonary artery. Left atrium. This is the upper left chamber. It receives oxygenated blood from the lungs via the pulmonary veins. Left ventricle. This is the lower left and most muscular chamber. It receives oxygenated blood from the left atrium and pumps it to the rest of the body via the aorta. Major blood vessels. Superior vena cava carries deoxygenated blood from the head, arms, and upper torso to the right atrium. Inferior vena cava carries deoxygenated blood from the legs, abdomen, and lower torso to the right atrium. Pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs. Note, arteries usually carry oxygenated blood, but the pulmonary artery is an exception. Pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium. Note, veins usually carry deoxygenated blood, but pulmonary veins are an exception. Aorta, the largest artery in the body, carrying oxygenated blood from the left ventricle to the rest of the body. Valves of the heart. These valves ensure unidirectional blood flow, preventing backflow. Tricuspid valve, located between the right atrium and the right ventricle. It opens to allow blood to flow from the right atrium into the right ventricle and closes to prevent backflow during ventricular contraction. Pulmonary valve, located at the exit of the right ventricle, leading into the pulmonary artery. It opens to allow blood to be pumped to the lungs and closes to prevent backflow into the right ventricle. Mitral valve, bicuspid valve located between the left atrium and the left ventricle. It opens to allow blood to flow from the left atrium into the left ventricle and closes to prevent backflow during ventricular contraction. Aortic valve, located at the exit of the left ventricle, leading into the aorta. It opens to allow blood to be pumped to the body and closes to prevent backflow into the left ventricle. Blood flow, as indicated by arrows. Deoxygenated blood from the body enters the right atrium via the superior and inferior vena cava. From the right atrium, blood passes through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts, pumping deoxygenated blood through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery, which carries it to the lungs to pick up oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Oxygenated blood returns from the lungs to the left atrium via the pulmonary veins. From the left atrium, blood passes through the mitral valve into the left ventricle. The left ventricle, being the strongest chamber, contracts forcefully, pumping oxygenated blood through the aortic valve into the aorta, which then distributes it to the entire body. In essence, the right side of the heart deals with the oxygenated blood pumping it to the lungs while the left side deals with oxygenated blood pumping it to the rest of the body. The synchronized action of these chambers, vessels, and valves ensures efficient circulation of blood throughout the body.